Hi, my name is James Schmelzer, photographer from Detroit, Michigan. Today we're going to do a commercial headshot of our beautiful model Deborah using the Eyelighter by Westcott. Well, if you know anything about me, I'm an advocate of constant lighting. So if you're wondering what kind of lights I'm using today, I'm using the Westcott Skylux. And as we read into the future of where photography is going, we do know that flash is going to be a thing of the past and that if you're going to be doing hybrid photography, you're going to be shooting video and stills, you're probably going to want to move into constant lighting. So um, I'm up here I have the Zeppelin with a Skylux in here. It's an LED light producing beautiful daylight light. Now. To use this light, I'm going to need some kind of reflector. Our newest product on the market from Westcott is called the Eye Lighter. And what's unique about it is the actual shape of it. Throughout the years, I would do things like twist reflectors up into potato chips and do whatever I could to get a wraparound fill onto the subject, but never really getting enough of a quality to get a continuous highlight all the way around the bottom of the, of the eye. So as I use this reflector, I like the light in butterfly position, which means it's coming straight down on a 45 degree angle, aimed at the nose. You're just gonna need some fill to try to fill that. And uh, people that have lighter eyes or hazel eyes or blue, the lighter the eye, the, a lot of times this will really bring out the color of the eyes too. Some of the qualities of this reflector is the fact that this material has a pebble finish. Anytime you're doing a pebble, it's gonna catch more of the light almost from every angle to give you a, a real constant uh, light quality across this reflector. If the subject is not in the right spot, the light won't reflect on 100% of your reflector. So what I've always done throughout the years is go stand where the subject is, look to see how much light is filling that reflector out because you might think it's doing something and you don't have the subject at the correct distance from the reflector or the reflector at the correct distance from the light. Now, throughout the years, we've kind of put some science into the distance of your reflector from your light source. Here we've kind of narrowed it down for you to make things a little bit easier. If you keep this about 30 inches and your subject about 30 inches from the reflector, it really should just fill that whole thing out and produce a beautiful quality. So I hope you can see on that angle how we've measured this distance. Light's coming down on a 45 degree angle it's got to hit this, and then the angle of incidence will equal the angle of reflection and reflect into her face and give you these beautiful catch lights. So what I like to do is go stand behind where the model is, put myself in her position of exactly where she's going to be, to see that at the distance from the reflector, if it's being filled with 100% of the light coming from our main light. Now, I thought it'd be really good for the video to kind of see exactly on a live view what you're seeing in her eyes. So I took the eyelighter out of there, and now we're going to pull it in, and you watch what this does to the eyes. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this shoot and the quality of lighting that you can get out of the Westcott Eye Lighter. Remember, there's no other reflector like this that makes it that easy to do this type of highlights in the eyes.